but I think it was the best decision I made because the love that I have for the game now in terms of trying to utilise that passion and affecting other people's careers are the biggest blessing that I could have had. I started to fall out of love with the game. That period was a really tough period in my career because I had to make the conscious decision that actually, you know what, I'm not going to go again. I spoke to a few people at the PCA to make sure that um, I had things in, in, in the balance and, and I had a plan for the future. I went into marketing and uh, I landed a role at Audi. It was at a retailer called JCT 600 and, and I had the role uh, for, uh, for marketing at around seven sites. I've grown as a person. My, my view on the world has become a lot more uh, holistic should I say. Something that I definitely have taken um, into my career now as being a, a business owner, managing director of a, of a coaching company. So I was doing bits and bobs outside kind of on a voluntary basis and, and quite a few people told me that you're actually good at this. But then I remember one summer's day, it was really good weather and I was like I kind of miss being out there on grass, I kind of miss hitting balls, I kind of miss bowling. At that point I thought actually I don't want to be, be stuck behind a desk. I wanted to be out there on the cricket pitch or in the nets, you know, teaching people how to play cricket. And I kind of realised that I've got a lot more to give the sport than I actually realised. Fast forward, kind of six months later, uh, I had made the, the biggest kind of jump in my professional life where I thought, right, I'm going to go all in here and, and set up my coaching company. And we went from kind of zero to four academies and now we've got eight academies. That's brilliant. I can't, can't, can't speak highly enough of it, to be honest. The, the effect it's had on my son is confidence and meeting new people. It's just been amazing for him, really. I think he's very thorough and clear of what he says, and he, he's got a strong idea of what to do and how to improve, and he's very inclusive, makes everyone feel welcome. They are teaching, promoting discipline, teamwork, resilience in children, so I really want my son to le teach, to learn, to you know grab those foundations who can build strongly inside them. The scholarship was something that kind of rekindle the fire again. I was sat at home and, and speaking to my family, but we realised that there wasn't something there for someone from a low socioeconomic background, from an inner city background at a state school. One of the main questions that I asked myself was, would Moen Ashraf be able to afford Moen Ashraf? And when the answer became no, I realised that there's something that needed to be done. And to provide that support is, is really important. He remembers where he's come from. He knows his background, he knows how tough it was. And it's nice that now he's trying to make a difference in a tough world. People who are less fortunate get a chance at the same coaching standard of everyone else. I think it's very good for development and young talent could be brought in, especially if they haven't had the opportunities before. And it could be developed and they could be the next England players. Uh, it's quite very good because when you think it's free and a lot of people don't get the opportunity to do something like this. I think the academy is helping a lot um, for my progression and I think everyone else as well. When you start your career, you're, you're invincible. You think you're, you're going to have this you know, stellar, illustrious career where you know, you're going to go on and play for England, you spend time at Loughborough, you, you, know, you get picked on performance programmes. and. Um, it's amazing, obviously you've got to have those aspirations and I'm not asking players to not have those aspirations but even when you're in your career, the amount of positive effect that looking at yourself outside of the game can have um, and looking at yourself from a different lens, it's unbelievable. One bit of advice I would give players is for them to remember that, that cricket is their number one but there is opportunity to try and develop in other areas and I would have definitely have done it sooner uh, if I had known that my career was going to come to a close uh, as, as short as it did.